Hello and welcome to the 13th tutorial on how to make a game in XNA. And in the last tutorial we started on uh, the pathfinding for the enemy or the AI, the enemy. And uh, in this tutorial we're going to continue trying to finish that and we might be doing that in the next tutorial as well. Uh, so we were creating a step two point method. And so what this method will basically do is, oh actually we want to return a bool. Yeah, boolean. Step to point. Should make this capital. There we go. And make it uh, get when the path needs a point. And we'll just name this point. Actually, just yeah, name it point. There we go. The right way. Okay. So what this method is going to do is basically use the push to method and then if it finds no problems it's going to return false but if it reaches the destination it's going to return true. So if point oh actually huh, I have to create another I'm just going to uh, open one of my previous classes that I made. It's called uh, GM function. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to copy one of its uh, methods. Oh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, there's an ambulance going by. Man, there's been a lot of ambulances and fire trucks going by. I think that's like the third time this week. Something like that. Okay, well, anyways, I'm just going to copy this point distance method uh, it's basic geometry method much like our point direction it basically just gets the distance between two points very simple uh, I assume you know this that I just don't want to go over it sort of lazy so if point distance point distance uh, position position dot x position y and then point dot x point dot y if that is less than pathfinder dot grid size so what this is basically saying is if the distance between the enemy's position and the distance between the node in the path, uh, the distance between those two positions is less than the grid size, which is basically is uh, one side or one side of the grid, like one line on that square of the grid. Uh, and right now it's 64, actually let's bump that down to like 32. So if it's less than 32 pixels, then it's going to uh, return true. It's going to set the speed to zero, which will stop stop the enemy and return true. So that basically says, oh, I reached my destination. Okay, I'm going to return true. Okay, so now next thing, if this doesn't happen, if he hasn't reached his destination yet, then this will happen. It's going to face the destination. And actually, let's go ahead and put this rotation line right in here. So it's going to face the destination. And actually, you know what? I have two. Yeah, actually, that's fine. And speed will equal speed. And let's get rid of this right here. So that is basically just saying if he hasn't reached a destination, it's just going to move towards uh, the actually, oops, not towards the player, towards 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 the point, the point dot x, and point dot y. How are we doing on time? Halfway there. Okay. So that's that. Uh, let's see. 
Next, we're going to have to create a set path method. Actually, uh, let me go back to. Okay, sorry. Just a second. Okay, so what we want to do is for the update method, we want this zombie or enemy to constantly uh, check and update the player's position and find a path according to that. So, which I'm going to create a the bull. Cued equals false. So basically, and then also I'm going to create uh, another timer. So private int, and we're going to name this uh, Q timer. Yeah, and then private int Q time. And the Q time is going Q timer is going to equal zero. And the Q time is going to equal let's say every second, every second he's gonna update. So so if Q Q timer is greater than Q time, it's gonna do stuff. Q equals true then. Q equals true and let's see uh, Q timer plus plus okay so basically it's saying it's just going to loop oh yeah we have to also put Q timer equals zero so it's going to execute any of the code in here every second so code in here happens every second. Okay. And what we want to do is set the destination equal to the player's position. So we're going to make it equal to new vector. Or actually, I'm just going to equal it to man dot man man dot man dot position. So this destination is going to equal the man's position. And then we're going to set the path. Or it's going to find the path for us. And now we have to create a set path method. And actually, let's create it right here. Okay. Uh, so, let me think. Public void set path. And actually, just get rid of this. And just to see if every time it sets a path, Q is going to equal true. Q equals true. Okay, so if if path finder dot Q is smaller than one, and basically that number pathfinder dot Q, it's a number of how many people or how many things are queuing the pathfinder to try to find a path. So basically we we want to make sure that no one is currently trying to find a path. So, oh yeah, we also want to put another boolean here called finding. Okay, we're almost running out of time. Okay, so basically, uh. It'll make sense later right now. Actually, I'm not going to explain it until I create everything else. I'm not finding. Pathfinder.q plus plus. And, oh yeah, I forgot something. So basically, what what's happening right now is we're saying, okay, if no one's queuing the Pathfinder to find a path, because pathfinding takes a lot of time or take it's it's very CPU intensive and uh, and or if you're just finding so basically if you already found a path well, actually that doesn't make sense oh yeah and oh yeah okay this makes sense if you're not we're gonna put something here to do with threads basically uh, we're going to start a thread here and 
uh, and say, okay, we're going to try to find a new path. And then we're going to set a finding variable to true. So finding equals true. So that means it's trying to, it's currently trying to find a path for you. Then in here, we're going to say, okay, if that thread is dead or if that thread is done, uh, we're going to set finding equals to false. Equals to false. And your pathfinder dot q is minus minus. And q equals false. Q equals false. And also uh, path index index equals zero. So that's basically saying once it's done. Once it's done making, uh, finding the path, it's just going to reset all these variables. So, but we haven't actually created the, these thread variables yet, so we're going to do that in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Appreciate if you left a rating, and see you in the next tutorial.